Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make stylized trees like this since they've obviously been trending lately on Twitter. And yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's get into the video. Before I get into the video though, make sure to follow my Twitter. I post all my random work that I do here. I'm working on an RPG project, like a personal um, that I'm working on by myself. So I show progress of that as seen here. I also show off the commission work I do and stuff like that if you're interested in hiring me and anything like that. And yeah, let's get straight into the uh, video. Also, a quick reminder that I do have a Discord community channel, so if you guys want to join that, click the link in the uh, description to join up. Um, you know, people are showing off the work, people are actually banding together and creating their own games and stuff like that. So if you're interested in joining up, then uh, go ahead and click the link in the description. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do and get out of the way is have your texture ready. I'm not going to show you how to create your um, a texture for the, the actual leaves in this video. I'm just going to show you how to use them. But it's a fairly simple concept. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you want to add mesh plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and press uh, rotate in the x-axis by 90. And I'm going to just flip that like this. You want a... Uh, this kind of like crossing shape of planes <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up here and then the next thing you want to do is you want to apply your texture to these so I'm gonna go ahead and select them both by holding shift and left clicking on them and then I'm gonna press ctrl J to join them okay I've also just enabled uh, my keys down here so if I miss uh, any certain key that I use you can just check down here as you can see it shows you what buttons I'm pressing and that kind of stuff Okay, so I'm going to apply my texture onto these, so to do that I'm going to go into shading, I'm going to click new, I'm going to name this leaves, and I'm going to press shift A, and then type in image, I'm going to open, I'm going to find my texture, I'm going to drag the color into base color, now as you can see you should have your leaves here, now these leaves are very like bad, I made them in like a solid minute and a half or something in Photoshop, so ignore the outcome of the leaves, but I'm just showing you the method of how to make them. But um, you want to add transparency onto this because as you can see you've got kind of like a, a black background on it. So to do that you want to drag the alpha on here. So now it goes even darker. To fix it you go into material properties here. Scroll down and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha clip. And as you can see now you have your leaves, you can you know rotate them resize them do whatever you want with them really and yeah these that's the leaves done okay so the next thing you want to do is create the actual tree so a lot of people tend to use this little um uh plugin thing which if you go into edit preferences and type in uh sapling tree gen it should be just here and then just enable it uh it helps you make trees a lot faster Obviously these trees aren't all that optimized so I don't really use them that often. But if you go into object, um, oh no, add, curve and then sapling, you kind of get this tree. Now if you click on this little box here, you can kind of adjust everything like the branches, you know, the thickness and all that kind of stuff. So go go ahead and play around with the settings if, you, if you're going to use this. I recommend lowering the amount of branches by a lot. Um, because it's just not necessary most of the time. Okay, once you're satisfied with your tree, I'm going to go ahead and just keep this. I'm going to just remove a few, a couple of the bendy edges really, just to reduce the amount of uh, vertices you have overall on the tree. Um, you can keep these if you want, I'm just going to remove them because I don't really like the uh, the curve that comes at the end. I'm just going to press delete and vertices. Okay, so now you have your tree ready, we can go ahead and put the leaves on top of the actual tree. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this a little bit. There's a few methods you could do this. You can literally just copy and paste this and kind of just, you know, flip it. And do it manually like this which might take longer uh, but I think you probably get maybe a better outcome 
but you can attempt that or there's another another method I can show you real quick okay so the other methods a little bit more advanced so it might be a pen you guys can skip this and kind of just copy and paste if you want but if you add in a UV sphere right here go ahead and resize it or whatever and you want to go into uh, particle properties so it'll be this little icon here and then you press add and then switch it to hair as you can see you're gonna get all these uh, strands of hair coming up you want to reduce the number of hair to uh, obviously have less amount of leaves on your thing so it's more optimized you want to change the segments to two and drop the hair length to like 0.3 or something so now you may be wondering how does hair link into actual leaves and stuff like that you're actually going to replace these hair strands with this object here now to do that you want to go into you want to click advanced here you want to go into render render as object and now you're going to see they disappear you can select this little button here and then select your leaves as you can see they start appearing onto the sphere now obviously you can go ahead and resize them like this as you can see you kind of have like a, a circular shape with the leaves now you're going to want to add um, rotation and stuff like that so you can go enable rotation you know you can randomize stuff like that um, you can just play around with all these settings you can do whatever you want with them um, I'm gonna leave this like this for now just for the sake of the video but yeah if you scroll through here you know you can change whatever you want really uh, but I recommend you uh, switch the seed up quite a bit so uh, um, kind of randomizes the leaves okay so once that's done you want to click on this blue little wrench click convert and now before you do anything you want to select this top plane here that's selected and go into object relations make single user object and data if you don't do this once you've joined once you join all the leaves like this it will kind of just um, blow out of proportion and go huge for some reason so make sure you do that now you have the option here of kind of um, adding a sphere in between just to kind of removing all the uh, remove this like inside gap here and kind of add in a similar color material or something or you can just leave it like this and kind of just adjust it like this so I can just kind of place these all around my uh, my tree like so obviously you want to make them more uh, like random shapes rather than uh, actual spheres so I'd recommend kind of going into edit mode by pressing tab selecting a vertice press O to enable smooth selection and then kind of just create uh, different kind of shapes like this okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a material to my log so I'm just gonna press new log and then I'm just gonna change it into a brown color just cuz I don't want to spend too much time on this and now you kind of have your tree obviously yours is probably gonna look better based on the fact that I used this really bright um, gradient on my leaves so it kind of looks really strange but um yeah this is basically the uh, the overall concept of how to make these I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel turn post notifications on and I'll see you in the next one peace